On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of the On Drop Rate series. If you have been watching my videos for a bit, I did post a video a couple of weeks ago I think of me getting 77 Hunter for a specific grind and it is time to live up to that promise. We're going to be doing crystal implings and we're going to be catching 128 of them in hopes of getting the 11 signet so let's get into it now to be able to actually catch the crystal implings you need an impling jar so i'm buying 128 of them as well as a butterfly net and because i'm only 77 hunter i will need to boost with a hunter potion to 80 every time but that is very simple just when i see the impling i'm about to catch it i will just drink one of the doses on top of all of this, you of course need the Song of the Elves to be able to access Prifdinas, the Elf City, to be able to actually catch the Crystal Implings, because this is the only area in the entire game they are located at. And what location I use in the entire city is right here at this marker. What I essentially do is I just zoom out as much as possible, and then I just world hop until I see a Crystal Impling. And usually it does not take that long. And there we go, that did not take that long. Probably like six world hops and I have them marked with red so I can even see them on the minimap. You can see it right there on the top. I drink a potion and I try to catch it and there we go. That's how I'm going to be doing it for all the 128. Well, one of the downsides of doing this world hopping spam method, you do get locked out sometimes and you have to wait for a while, but uh, hopefully it's not that long. So I'm going to have to be honest, I'm currently at 44 crystal implings and I got all of them except one, just standing still world hopping, but it did get kind of boring and sometimes I had to hop like 35 to 50 worlds to even find one of them. So what I've decided to do is to just run around one time in the city with stamina pots and hunter potions. If I do not see an imp, I will world hop at that point. Also, as I said before and you saw it, you do get locked out now and then if you spam hop all the time. So this should probably fix that as well. So we are now currently at 119 implings, so we are very close to done. Only need 9 more implings, and I think we have a bit of an advantage on getting the last ones, because the servers have been down, and they just came up. So I'm hoping that there's going to be more implings than usual, none of them have been caught. I don't really hunt implings that much, I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works, but uh, regardless, 9 more should not take that long to complete. Oh my god, yes, that is the last one. It actually was really fast, the first ones, but then this specific one, the last one, oh my god, it took so long to get for some reason. Probably like 15 minutes of just constantly world hopping. But there we go, that is all the implings of 128. I'm going to go to another area than Prifdinas because this area has kind of a bad FPS. So uh, we are going to be opening all of these in just a second. I basically never used the Narda Bank, so might as well do it this time. And before we get started with the opening, I'm not really sure how many I can bring in every inventory. I probably can bring more than 10 because most items are stackable that you get from these. Second thing is that there is a 1 in 50 chance to get an Elite Clue Scroll. So over the course of opening 128 of these, I should get at least 2 of them and hopefully even 3 of them. I would also like to say that even if I were to get the ring kind of early on or even overall in this opening, I'm still going to be opening all of the implings. I do want to see what kind of loot I can get. Maybe even I can get two Elven Signets. Guess we'll have to see. Also, the item is on the collection log. If we go down here on the miscellaneous tab on other, you can see it right there. So getting this would be very nice for the log. I probably spent like seven to eight hours, something like that, world hopping. So it's not really the most fun activity to, to do in the game. So it would be kind of nice to have it done. But uh, let's get on with the opening. Let's start with these 10. First loot. Are you actually... <laughs> what? The first one we're done. Okay, I'm, I've never seen that. That is insane. By the way, for a fact, I opened, I think, like 80 of them on my group Iron Man. Got absolutely nothing. How did this just happen? 
Well, okay, let's see. Let's go for another no another one. Dude, I'm actually speechless. I don't even know. The likelihood of us actually getting two of them now is actually good. Let's see how much this is worth. Oh my god! I got two of them in the same inventory. There is no way. How much is this inventory worth? Dude, this is 3.8 million GP from the first... Dude, this... <laughs> I, there's no words for this. Well, where do you even continue from that? Uh, I guess we just keep going with the openings. Hopefully we can get some elite clue scrolls from this. Would be fun to do some. Also, we do have a lot of collection log slots we can actually get from the elite clue scrolls. But uh, the money that you get from these on even a main account is not that bad. I think the average value of one of these is like 68k, 70k, something like that. And I think 15 is a good amount to open every time so my inventory doesn't get flooded. But look at that, 627k from just 15 of them. Let's do a quick fire round, spam them and see what we get. Oh yeah, also crystal shards is really good and the first elite clue scroll. So let's actually take a break from opening, complete the elite clue scroll, open it and see what we get. But also I did get and I did mention the crystal shards. There is a 1 in, let's actually see, 1 in 18 to get 5 to 10 of them. So from this opening, I should get like 80 or something like that, which is not that bad. Not too much friction. That is the Elite Clue Scroll completed for the casket. I do just want to do a bit of a flex here. Look at that backpack. I also invested in the Osmontons Fang for the future TOAs. I've been doing a lot of them and enjoying them quite a bit. But anyways... Can we get as lucky on the Elite Casket as we do with the Imps? Let's have a look. And the... Oh! Master Clue Scroll! Not that bad. I guess I'll complete it as well. Hopefully I can. There's quite some steps that I cannot do, but the first one I can. Unfortunately, we cannot complete this one. I actually got pretty far into it as well. I did four steps, but uh, I do need 87 fishing for this step. And I'm only 77, so I guess it is time to drop this and get back to opening the crystal implings. All right, 88 crystal implings left to go. Let's do 15 more. Can we get another elite clue scroll or even another elephant signet? All of these seed drops are really good, by the way. I think most of them are worth quite a lot. Like these Raynor seeds is 250k. And the dragon dart tips doesn't look like a lot, but 60k, that's not that bad. Just going to go through these as quickly as I possibly can until we get an elite clue scroll or something else that's very interesting like a third element signet but it's not looking too good right now. That might have been so far maybe the worst inventory so far. Oh it's still 600k that's not bad at all. Because I'm kind of dumb sometimes, I did not actually record the past 25 openings, but you can see on the screen right now I've opened overall 91 implings and the loot is just 7 million exactly. And we have 36 left to go, but we have not got any more elite clue scrolls and no signet, so let's keep going. Maybe we can get a third signet on this inventory right here. Otherwise, I would say the money from this is decent. I would not say that it's like a good money making method because it does take like... 8 hours as I said if you try to collect these kind of efficiently like in a kind of try hard way. It's not that good. It's like 1 mil an hour and I got 2 rings. I mean 1 mil an hour with 2 rings which is definitely not on the rate. You should be getting 1. So you can expect probably like 800-900k an hour if you're hunting these for actual money. But for an Iron Man I would say it's a decent way of getting crystal shards. Meanwhile you're getting the Elevent Signet. Overall you do get the seeds as well like the crystal acorns, U seed, Raynar seeds. All this good stuff you can see everything here. Get some decent alkyballs as well. So for Iron Man I would say this is definitely a good grind to do for the account. The Elevent Signet itself is a good item. But let's go for the last six. Can we get another Elite Clue Scroll or a third Signet on these? Onyx ball tips, power amulets, nothing, rune arrows, rune darts, and the last item is going to be onyx ball tips. So we've now opened all of them, and of course we did get two of the items, so we have the collection log filled in twice even. And let's have a look at the overall loot that we got from this. I'm going to just be doing a normal in-game price checker, and the price is 8.6 million. On real light it says 8.46, so kind of the same I guess, but maybe the rings are worth slightly more on the GE. And also we did get the Elite Clue Scroll, which was worth like 170k, something like that. Which was also pretty good. So we made a decent amount of money in this video. The most important thing, of course, is we did get the Elven Signet on the first one, which was kind of crazy. But we also got 5 Crystal Acorns, 51 Crystal Shards. So 
if you're going to be doing this for an Iron Man, which I think most people will be doing it for an Iron Man or Collection Log, you can expect this loot right here. Now before we end the video, I do have a bit of an extra segment in this video that I want to put in because I thought this would be a very fun thing to try out. And it does have a challenge to it as well. And I'm going to be doing it with one of my Discord mods, one of my friends, Lucy Loud. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a PvP fight. And we are only allowed to use these weapons right here. Wooden spoon, egg whisk, spork, spatula, frying pan, skewer, rolling pin, kitchen knife, meat tenderizer, and the cleaver. Now what I do think is so interesting about these weapons is that they all have widely different stats. For example, the egg whisk is terrible. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> look at the weapon itself. It just looks hilarious. It has 4 strength and like 4, 3, 5 in all the attack bonuses. Even 4 minus in crush. Let's compare that to the kitchen knife. It has 24 melee strength, 25 stab, and then go all the way up to the cleaver, which has 44 melee strength. I think all of these have around the same attack speed, but then we have the two-handed meat tenderizer. Look at this absolute unit. It has 53 crush and 48 strength bonus. So this is like a rune two-hand in a free-to-play finisher. You use this as their big hit to finish off the opponent. You can have the meat cleaver for the passive damage, maybe the rolling pin for more prayer points because we are allowed to pray in this fight. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this goes. Now you might be wondering, why is this in an on-drop rate video? Well, there is a nice forfeit to this challenge. The person that loses this PKing duel have to hunt 171 werewolves for the rune med helmet. This is of course just like any normal on-drop rate challenge for me if I lose. If she loses, she will link me the loot, give me an update on everything, how it went. But also on top of that... We have to kill them with only using these weapons. No other weapons are allowed. So we have to kill the werewolves who are level 88 with only using these weapons. Now, on top of that, werewolves are extremely annoying, obnoxious to kill. Because without a wolfbane, they transform into the higher levels. And they also have a transform animation. So if I attack one right here, you can see what I mean. You can't do damage there. And now you can attack them again. So I have to kill 171 of these, Luz has to kill 171 of these, if we lose. Alright, we're pretty much same stats, so this should be a fair duel. Let's actually count this down. 3, 2, 1. I really want to get the first attack in, so spam, spam, spam. Oh, I think I got it, I think I got it. And I also hit 8 on her, and then she goes hit me 10 and 0. Alright, so I think we're about even at this point. She also has the two-handed meat tenderizer. I'm gonna try flick one. Five damage. Fourteen with a cleaver? Through prayer. What? That's a, a, a massive hit. Alright, it, it looks fine on prayer. We have 57. 13 whack with a meat tenderizer. This is... Oh my god. Look at our HP. This is not looking good. Okay, I, I maxed it 13. Maxed it 13. Her max hit is higher than me. That is interesting. Not sure why, but uh, it is what it is. Flick some smite. Smite. Can I get... Oh my god, there's no way. Redemption. No way she hit 24 there on my redemption. Oh no. Oh well. We know who is going to be doing the werewolf challenge. I thought it was only fair that Lucy decides what armor I can use with the cleaver and her only requirement was to use a rune medhelm. So I think this is going to be the gear I'm using for 171 werewolf kills or getting the rune medhelm drop from the werewolf. So let's get into it. At least I can use the super combat potions. This is going to be bad. Even though these drops are very uneventful, there is actually a chance to get easy and medium clues from this. So if we get really lucky, we can get one of these and get like Ranger Boot, maybe. Get like 40 million loot right there from Werewolves. What? There is no way. Is this guy's looting my wolf bones. How? Oh, no way. He's taking time out of his agility training to loot my wolf bones and my grey wolf fur. That's worth 300 GP each. After a longer grind than I thought it would be, we are now at 170 kills. So we're doing the last kill right here. And we actually managed to get zero clue scrolls. And I made sure I had no clues in the bank already. So we were good on that front. So unfortunately, but can we get the rune medhelm on the last kill? 
We cannot. So we did lose this challenge. We both lost the PvP duo and this werewolf challenge. And that means in any lost challenge, if the loot is below 10 million, I give away 10 million. So the giveaway for this video will be 10 million GP. But that is all for this video. How you win the 10 million giveaway for the failed werewolf challenge is on the screen right now. Of course, it is easier for me to contact you if you're on Discord. That is why it is an extra. After I post this video, the giveaway will be rolled 48 hours after. And then after that, the winner has 48 hours to claim the prize. Otherwise, I roll another winner. Bit of a different ending than normal, I guess. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you would like to see more of that, let me know in the comment section below. As well as like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to be updated on the future episodes. Around 60% of the people watching this series is actually not subscribed. But with that, until next time guys, take care.